You know what's crazy? My wife's about to learn calculus in just five minutes, and she's never taken a class before. Babe, are you ready? Let's do it. All right. So we're going to talk about calculus today and mini Highland cow farms. Yes. Heck yeah. So say right now our cow farm is empty with just grass and tumbleweeds. That's sad. Well, for now, but we have this equation here, y equals 2x. And what that's telling us is over time, we're going to have cows that are grown. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. So what x is going to represent here is the number of months that have passed by. And for any given month number in that point in time, y is going to tell you not how many cows have been born in that month, but the rate at which cows are being born. Okay. So big difference there. And when we talk about rates, that's a big thing in calculus. Now, what we need to do is bring all the rates together. And after three months, we want to know how many cows were born. So far, so good? Yep. So let's go ahead and start with this table here. And what I want to do on this table is because we have the equation y equals 2x, x here is going to be denoted by the month number. And the unit here is really important, as you're going to see later. Mm -hmm. Y, to get the value Y on the right column, what we're doing is we're taking the value in the left column for X and simply multiplying it by two, as you see in this equation, to get the rate after that month number. Okay, so in month three, we would do three times two. So that means in month three, we are growing six cows per month. That's exactly right. So moving forward, now what we can do is we can take that table and we can treat each row as a point on a graph. So for the first row, you got zero, zero. The next one is one, two, two, uh -huh. four. So far, so good? Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and plot those on this graph here. Now, the solid line here from months zero to three is all we care about. But if I took this dotted line here and just kept extending it out, then you can just see that y equals 2x goes on forever. But we only care about the first part here, right? Right. I circled our points for zero, zero, you know, one, two. You get the idea based on this table up here. Uh huh. But and we're going to have a farm for more than three months, right? I, I sure hope so. Okay. All right. Now, in calculus, when you take rates per month here and you want to accumulate them over time, like three months in our case, we talk about this idea of an integral. And what it looks like on a graph is an area under whatever it is we're graphing. Now, mathematically, what the integral looks like is this crazy looking squiggly sign here. So so what is the C? Where did C and D and the squiggles come from? Good question. C here on the left for this equation, I'm using C for cows. Oh. Now, dx, they call it a differential. It's a unit of change. So what you can think about is going back on this graph, if I take any instant in time, like say, for instance, specifically at the very end of month one, month two, month three, et cetera, dx represents a change or a rate in time at a very specific point. Okay. And then what we're doing is we're taking our equation, 2x right here, uh -huh. and 0 to 3. Now, you might be wondering what on earth are those right here? Yeah. Any idea? Uh, no. Okay, so these are limits of integration. It's like a start to finish. Okay. The lower limit of integration on the bottom here is when we start in time at month 0, uh -huh. and the top one is until month 3. And so what this equation is doing is visually – Think of it as the area under this line here, y equals 2x. It's taking a bunch of rates and stitching them together where you basically trace out the area under this graph. And that area is our answer for how many cows we end up with. Okay, so do we need to find d? Well, in this equation here, 2x represents what's called a polynomial function. I've got another video that viewers can watch to do it. But check this out. We don't need to use any fancy math in this problem because looking at our graph right here, it's actually really easy to find the area from 1, 0 to 3. I want you to pretend taking a vertical line and going from 3, 0 on the graph here up to that circle point. What shape do you have under the line? A triangle. Exactly right. So why don't we skip all the math craziness here for right now? Because students also would be interested on this on their next exam to save some time. We just have a triangle that has a base of what's what's the length of the triangle on the bottom here? Three. And what's the uh, height? Six. Uh -huh. So our triangle looks like this. Do you remember the area of a triangle? Uh, length times width divided by two. Very good. 
It's kind of like the area of a square where you take the length times the width and you just cut it in half, right? Yeah. Triangle, basically put two of them together, you get a square. Now, what I want you to be mindful of here is for the formula you just gave me, one half times the base times the height, you need to keep the units that we used above. So for the base here, three, what did this unit represent? Uh, months. That's right. And how about six? What does that represent? Cows per month. You got it. Awesome. I'm going to put those in here. Now, I want you to think about this answer. The answer here isn't just a number. We have units in here. Is there any confusion about this at all? Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. But you have months here on the top. Three months. Think of it as the top of a numerator or of a fraction, right? And you have months here on the bottom. What do you think happens when you multiply those two together? Um. Well, I I think they cancel out. So. You would take out the months, so it would be 1 times 3 times 6, mm -hmm. which is 18, divide it by 2, which is 9. 9 what? What's your unit for the answer? Cows, because we took the months away. Heck yeah. 